Hi, I'm Steve Sellers, and this is my five and five. Five, four, three, two, one. The man, the myth, the legend. No, no. <laughs> I, I don't have that kind of an opinion of myself. Um, what I am is uh, I'm a writer uh, for um, Omen Comics and for Revelation Comics. Uh, what I tend to do is focus on the self-contained uh, passion projects uh, that we do. Uh, a comedy of errors. Um, actually, uh, the story really kind of starts with Mike Nunnally. Um, I've always been sort of interested in writing. Um, I got inspired uh, to do writing um, when I was uh, 13 and I read uh, Dragons of Honor and Twilight by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Uh, that kind of led into a long love of learning the craft and, you know, sort of developing ideas. Um, I kind of drifted a little bit out of that at the one point, and then I got back into it when I did um, a comic book related fan fiction. And that really was uh, the, I would say, the uh, starting point for me really to develop my craft as a writer, you know, to sort of uh, figure out, you know, how all of it worked. And that led into uh, me sort of developing uh, Blitz um, as uh, a concept based on a. Um, Play by post um, RPG that I did um, decades ago. Blitz sort of started with a play by post uh, RPG story that I did. And actually, the character came out of completely by accident. I, I had invented um, this character called Amy Mason as a uh, non powered supporting character uh, for one of my players and my main, uh, my main characters. And what ended up happening is she developed kind of a life of her own and uh, essentially had an origin story. Um, and you will see that origin story in the comic itself if you want to read it. Uh, so the real uh, focus of Blitz as a comic um, was to develop an unlikely partnership um, between this um, college girl who had developed super speed by accident, uh, by, ra by doing a dumpster dive in a junkyard, uh, with uh, Night Spider uh, Roland Travis, who is a former gentleman thief who has been cursed uh, to do good. <laughs> Um, by when he stole a magic gem. And so uh, this unlikely partnership um, is essentially the only thing keeping, uh, standing in the way of the villains from totally controlling Centennial City, which is uh, where they're operating from. And you have a number of different characters. Uh, Night Spider is a very complicated past that will always come back to haunt him. And I kind of want to deal with something that has not really been dealt with in mainstream comics with him for a while, which is the idea of a villain having to face the trying to reform and having to face the consequences of the bad things that he did in the past. And this is something that a lot of mainstream comics will do a lot, turn a villain good, and then they're just going to say, oh, everything's forgiven. No, not with Night Spider. <laughs> and Amy is caught up in the middle of this and she has to deal with those consequences as well because they bleed in uh, into their partnership and what they're doing. Beyond that, it's going to be just continuing on the projects that I'm currently doing for the most part. I'm getting the next issue of uh, of, of um, White Druid and Michael Nero out. Um, in addition, uh, we also have another comic that is coming, um, I want to say early next year, something like that, um, which is called Dark Oracles. And uh, this is going to be basically um, little short stories that um, Mike and I are doing uh, within the Omenverse, you know, featuring different characters. For me, it's filling in some of the gaps uh, in Guardians of Alam dealing with the past uh, and the origins of the various uh, members of the Guardians of Alam team. And um, on the side, I'm hopefully getting back into my prose projects. Uh, I have a science fiction uh, book that I, that I really want to get through, uh, and I have other things. I would like to do more with the Ashlyn Frost character from the Perspectives Anthology. I have ideas in mind for her that I would like to get to. So yeah, plenty of irons in the fire. Well, uh, you can find me at, at Shadewing on Twitter. Um, I am occasionally do a little bit of Facebook, but not a lot. I do, um, I, I'm mainly talking about retro RPGs when I do that. My, in terms of professional accounts, um, a lot of, I talk about um, my uh, creative projects more on at Revelation Comic, which is the home of Revelation Comics and where you can find all their juicy little promos about uh, what we're doing next and what we have upcoming and, you know, links to ASAP Imaginations links for uh, all of our stuff. So, you know, check it out.